Hi, my name is Mark Roberti. I'm the founder and editor of RFID Journal. This year, RFID Journal will be holding its 20th annual RFID Journal Live Conference and Exhibition from May 17th to 19th at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas. We're doing a series of short videos to highlight some of the educational programs at RFID Journal Live. Today, we're talking about a new battery-free BLE tagging workshop that was recently added to the program. It's sponsored by Williot. I'm here with Steve Statler. He is the author of Beacon Technologies from A Press, and he is the Senior Vice President of Marketing for Williot. Steve, for those who don't know Williot, please tell us a little bit about the company, and in particular, uh, tell us about your unique technology. Well, first of all, Mark, great to talk with you, uh, and we love the work that you do in educating our ecosystem. So Williot is a cloud and semiconductor company. Uh, we've designed a chip that powers something called an IoT pixel. It looks like a postage stamp size sticker, uh, and it uh, is a computer. Uh, it actually is an ARM processor, uh, and it powers itself by harvesting radio frequency energy from Bluetooth signals, and it can actually harvest energy from RFID, UHF RFID tags. So. This thing is secure, it can sense temperature and a variety of other things, and it communicates with the cloud via Bluetooth infrastructure. So anyone familiar with Bluetooth will be familiar with the manufacturing techniques used to make the tags. But the difference with RFID is this use of phones and uh, very, very low cost infrastructure so that you can get a continuous view of inventory, you can sense um, uh, everything from uh, temperature to fill level um, and uh, the security, uh, which allows you to manage privacy and data ownership. Right. Okay. Now, Williad is sponsoring a workshop at RFID Journal Live 2022. Um, tell us a little bit about the workshop and, and uh, who, who it's aimed at um, and, and what folks can get out of it. The workshop's continuing uh, tradition at RFID Journal Live of embracing all auto ID technologies. Uh, so back in 2017, um, we did a one-day workshop on Bluetooth tagging and Bluetooth beacons, and um, this is really building on, on that. Uh, the difference is um, it's a little bit shorter. It's half a day, and it's practical. It's hands-on. So we're going to take people from zero to hands-on in half a day uh, using this latest Bluetooth auto ID technology. They'll get access to um, a Williot starter kit, which they can take home with them, and it'll have everything they need to learn about and to demonstrate this uh, technology that is changing the way things are made, distributed, sold, used, reused, and recycled. Right. Now, is the workshop aimed at business people who have a business issue they're looking to solve or technologists who deploy auto ID and data capture systems or both? It's both. So we've always had a we think both need to come together. So the technologists need to understand the use cases and what the technology can be used for and its limits and strengths. And the business people need to get confidence that this thing is real. And they also need to understand what it can do, but equally what it can't do. Uh, and uh, so we believe in bringing those together. And the, the course is designed to be accessible to both of those types of uh, attendee. And, and do I need any background or knowledge of BLE before I come into the workshop? Uh, that's the that's the idea. We'll uh, get someone who's interested in auto ID. Maybe they're uh, steeped in RFID, or maybe they're just a business person with a problem to solve. And we'll explain how a Bluetooth tag relates to all the other Bluetooth devices. Bluetooth tags are, are different to the Bluetooth in your car radio or the Bluetooth in your phone. It all uses elements of the same standard. So we'll explain that and we'll explain some of the basics of uh, the difference uh, between the different uh, building blocks, uh, presence and proximity and location and uh, sensing and all these things that people need to 
kind of think about the problems that can be solved and how they can be solved. Right. What kind of um, things can I demonstrate with the starter kit? The starter kit uh, allows you to experiment with um, tagging um, uh, containers, uh, cardboard boxes, uh, plastic crates. Uh, so you, you can start to get a sense of range and placement and uh, things like that. We've tried to make it fun as well as providing um, uh, the app and the, the uh, Willy Art 101 um, self-paced training. Um, we have devices that can energize tags. We have tags. But we also have a coffee cup, which we'll be using in this course. And the coffee cup can sense the temperature of the coffee and, and the fill level as well. So there's some practical things that people can use to actually test this technology and get a better understanding of it. Right. What types of companies can benefit from battery-free BLE tags? Is it is it uh, mainly supply chain companies or retail manufacturing? Well, supply chain is definitely a, a core use case that we see people hitting on. They, they want to mm -hmm. get more visibility, uh, especially now where supply chains are under stress. But we have customers and we expect people from a really broad range of verticals. Food is a big one. So everything from grocery uh, stores, uh, we're getting a lot of business from some of the largest grocery stores in the world to the folks that make uh, food. So PepsiCo is actually an investor in our company. They're the largest uh, maker of uh, food products in the world. Um, but uh, we've also done projects in um, healthcare pharmaceutical area. So uh, cold chain and traceability for, uh, for vaccines is one of the, the projects that we've um, worked on. Logistics is, is another area. Um, we call it a postage stamp size computer. And so the applications there are obvious. We've engaged with postal services all around the world who want to provide um, their customers with uh, continuous visibility and sensing of, of packages. So it's a, it's a really broad range. Uh, we're going to focus on some simple use cases so that people can have a sense of achievement and, and, and get some confidence in what can be done. But the possibilities are endless. Right. Steve, well, I really appreciate you uh, joining us today and, and sharing a little bit about the workshop. And of course, we appreciate your support and uh, look forward to seeing everybody at the workshop uh, in uh, about a month. Thanks so much. See you in Vegas. Look forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope to see you at RFID Journal Live 2022 from May 17th to 19th at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas. For more information about the battery-free BLE tagging workshop or to register for the workshop, go to www.rfidjournallive.com and then click on conference in the top navigation bar and select BLE tagging workshop. Thank you and have a wonderful day.